hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in Windows application how to implement the cascading functionality with a combo box control using link to SQL class and notice here we got the final output the India the states of India is Telangana, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu and the Telangana state is Hyderabad if I select the Tamil Nadu it's Chennai I'm selecting the country name USA the states of the USA is in that combo box too now I'm selecting the New Jersey state and the city name Australia Queensland Brisbane if I select Victoria and the city is the Melbourne if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in Windows application, first we'll check the tables and the column names. For this demo purpose, I have taken three tables. The country table, the first one, which contains two columns, CID and CNAME. The CID column is an auto-generated column, and the second column is a CNAME, which is a country name, so which contains three countries, India, USA, and Australia. Now the second table is a state, which contains three columns SID, SNAME and CID. SID is a state ID, is an auto generated column, SNAME is a state name and the last column is a CID which is a city ID. And notice in state table the CID and in country table the CID column the CID columns is the relation between these two tables. And the last table which is a city which contains three columns again the first column is a city ID, is an auto generated column, city name which contains a city names and the third one is a SID. In the city table and state table, the, the column common name is a SID. In the city and state. Now let's open Visual Studio to write the coding part. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new Windows application. Go to File, New, Project and from the windows templates I'm selecting windows forms application and the dotnet framework I'm using 4.6.1 the application name is link cascading win forms is a project name click ok And the Windows application is created successfully. Let me expand this form on design page. After that, in the server explorer under data connections, I'm adding my database name. Right click the data connections, add connection. I'm adding a SQL server name is. After adding a SQL server name, now I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB is my user database. Test connection is succeeded. Okay, okay. And here we got the sample DB dot DBO is added under data connections. Now the next step, open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding link to SQL class. Like right click the project name, add new item. from the c-sharp items i'm selecting link to sql class i'm not changing the name of the uh, class dot dbml click add and here we got the data classes one dot dot dbml let's open server explorer and expand the database sample db dot dbo from the table objects let's expand the tables folder let's drag and drop the country table The next one is a state table. And the last one is a city table. City table. After adding the three table objects on this DBML, now switch to the design mode. Now in this form on design mode, I am adding three combo box controls, one for the country, second one for the state, and the third one for the city. 
let's add those controls from all windows forms here is the combo box let's add that one the combo box one let's expand that one let's copy paste and paste we got three combo box controls after that I double click the form on design page in the form load event the first I'm adding the data class one data context data class one data context I'm creating the object DC is equals to new data class one data context variable country list is equals to from country is object in DC dot the table object is a uh, countries select X not X is a country After that, let's bind the data into a combo box. Combo box one dot data source is equals to country list. Before that, combo box one dot display member. In the display member, I am adding the country column name, C name. name semicolon combo box one dot value member CID semicolon that's it we have binded the country table into this combo box one now before adding the state and cities into a combo box controls first we'll check the output the country table is binded into the combo box one or not start And here we got the output of the form one. Notice in the combo box one, we got the country names India, USA, and Australia. Now the next target, when a user select any of the particular country name from the combo box one, I want to display the states of the selected country in the combo box two. So let's add this functionality. Stop debugging. Switch to the design mode double click the combo box one it will generate the selected index changer event now what I'm doing I'm adding this data context uh, class about the form level variable state list is equals to from state in dc dot the object table object is the states where uh, state dot the column names in the country and state the CID is a column name is common let's add that one CID is equal to double equals to we are selecting that country name from the combo box one so here I'm adding combo box one dot selected value and notice here we got an error the operator double equals to cannot be applied to operands of type int and object so let's type convert the object into int convert dot to int 32 select state now I want to bind the stateless in the combo box to combo box dot data source is equals to state list semicolon and before that we need to add the data member display member sorry display member is equals to the display member is a state name s name combo box two dot value member is equals to SID now the last one we want the city of the selected states double click the combo box 2 
it will generate the selected index change event for the combo box too. Instead of writing this part, I'm just copying and pasting here the variable name I'm changing to city list from city in dc dot cities where city dot in city and state the column common name is a SID column let's add that one SID and we're selecting the state from the combo box 2 so let's add the combo box 2 dot selected value and I'm adding this variable city here let's change the combo box ID is combo box 3 combo box 3 the display member name we require the city name and city ID let's add those ones city name and city ID In the data source I'm adding the city list object that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the result start and notice here we got the final output the India the states of India is Telangana, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu and the Telangana state is Hyderabad if I select the Tamil Nadu it's Chennai I'm selecting the country name USA the states of the USA is in that combo box too. Now I am selecting the New Jersey state and the city name. Australia, Queensland, Brisbane. If I select Victoria and the city is the Melbourne. That's it.